Uh, let me just see if I have this right here. And please, correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like what you guys are looking for is some sort of uh, P. Diddy-style shrimping vessel. Oh, right. That's You're a really good listener, and I didn't peg you for one when I walked in here because of the pinky ring. This isn't Diddy-esque at all. No, no, we got to get rid of all this shit. You guys crazy? This boat is awesome. How about a little of this? Huh? What the hell is that? This? That's my P. Diddy boat dance. Uh -huh. You look like one of those inflatable dancing things at the used car lot. The ones that flail around in the wind. Oh, I don't. I'm good. No, Dee, that's exactly what you look like. I, I promise you that's what you look like. You can't dance for shit. I can dance and you don't know what you're talking about. I'm okay? going to bring one of those in so you can see it. Okay, why don't you bring the guy in? We'll have a dance competition. I Frank, you are absolutely right. This is boat music. Yeah, this is the kind of music you gotta listen to. I am learning some amazing moves from this guy. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. You got the moves. Die, you sucker! Oh, oh hey, what guys, are you doing? come here! I mean, you are not gonna believe how much cool shit is under the boat! There's like a whole world of ancient stuff! What? There was a horse massacre, right, in the revolutionary time? And then there's like a pirate ship, like, I found all these old pretty little dolls, she's pretty, right? What do you mean, what do we need a mattress for? Why in the hell do you think we just spent all that money on a boat? The whole purpose of buying the boat in the first place was to get the ladies nice and tipsy topside so we can take them to a nice, comfortable place below deck and, you know, they can't refuse because of the implication. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you had me go in there for the first part. The second half kind of threw me. Well, dude, dude, th think about it. She's out in the middle of nowhere with some dude she barely knows. You know, she looks around her. What does she see? Nothing but open ocean. Ah, uh, there's nowhere for me to run. What am I going to do? Say no? Okay, that, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. No, no, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, okay. I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the thing right. is, is she's not going to say yeah. no. She would never say no because of the implication. Well, don't you look at me like that. You certainly wouldn't be in any danger. Think about, like, all the all the movies and, and the books and all the stories of all the terrible, awful, awful things that have happened out in the middle of the ocean. You know, that's the stuff that's, like, rattling around in her head, you know, informing her decision as to whether she sleeps with me or not. That, that's all I'm saying. You know, it's not, like, a big thing. Or anything, just... Uh-huh. I cannot wait to get you ladies out into the sea. It's so much more romantic in the middle of nowhere, where we can be completely alone. And you can make rash decisions based on fear. <laughs> right, Dennis? 